I've always wondered what really makes a speaker like this come alive. We all hear the sound, but what's inside this box that turns electrical signals into voices so clear that it sounds like the actors are just right in front of you? So today I'll be doing something quite different. I'm going to rip open this Q Acoustic 2000 C Center channel piece by piece just to uncover its secrets. So, is it genius engineering, hidden cost cutting, or something else that explains why this little box punches way above its price? Stick around, because what I find inside might surprise you. And once you know, you'll never look at your speaker the same again. So, under the black sleek covering is a cabinet made of MDF, medium density fiber board. Unlike natural wood, MDF is super dense and uniform. It doesn't vibrate easily. That means when these driver push out sound, you don't hear the box rattling or adding its own color. These holes, they're not here for decorations either. When the drivers push air inside the box, some of that air pressure is released through these holes. When the speaker is playing at a certain volume and you place your hand over these holes, you will feel a little puff of air coming through this hole. You can literally feel it on your finger. So these ports let the speaker dig a little deeper in the bass without needing bigger drivers or a bigger box. They also stop the song from feeling too thin. Voices get a bit more body and warmth. But here's the trade-off. If you push a speaker like this against a wall or a cabinet, these ports can boom too much and make the song muddy. That's why sometimes people plug these holes with foam to tighten the song. All right, so let's rip this thing apart. I'm gonna start by tearing off this. I've already taken out the screws. So I'm just gonna take my time and just rip these off. I don't want to damage anything because I have to put it back together. Ah, there we go. Now, look at that. Now, this part that I just took off, it is not just here for looks. I mean, even though it's, it looks a bit ugly on this side. But I think this is called the baffle. But it has multiple functions, including holding these drivers firmly in place. And it also shapes how the song waves leaves the speaker. Now, if this was not there then the bare mdf would look really ugly and it would definitely chip and wear down quite easily so this tough plastic panel give the speakers a clean finished look while also making sure the drivers are held tightly in place so they don't leak air or vibrate loosely now here is one of the secrets of the medium density fiber board or mdf it provides a dead inert foundation so that what you hear is the music or the movie soundtrack not the cabinet resonating and this is one of the keys or secret to the Q acoustic reputation for neutrality and clarity. Now let's talk about these twin drivers and the center speaker segment. Now look at this layout. You've got two big mid bass cones, one on the left, one on the right mirroring each other and in the center sits this little tweeter. This isn't just a random design. The two larger cones share the heavy lifting, all the warmth and body of voice while the tweeter is the sharp edge handling the fine details like the s and the t's that makes words pop so here's a trick when the speaker cones are mirrored and the tweeter sit dead center when you're in the sweet spot voice feels locked right to the screen so that's why dialogue sounds like it's coming from the actor's mouth and not just from the box itself so i'm gonna go right ahead and unscrew at least one of these speakers so you can see what's going on and take a little peek of what's inside. So I'm gonna lift this off like so. As you can see here, it says 8 ohms. This is exactly what it is like. It's quite heavy though. I would say this is about maybe 1 kg, roughly. So this magnet is quite hefty and it's not just here for bulk sake because the heavier this magnet, it means more control over the cone movement. When the amp sends a signal, this magnet keeps the cone tight and accurate so the song doesn't get sloppy or distorted. Basically, the weight is quality. It's what helps the speaker deliver clean, powerful mids without breaking up when you turn the volume up. Let's look a little bit closer, trying to see what's inside. Those are the ports, if you look right here, this one here, the air vent or port or whatever you want to call them that is connected to the back there, as we spoke about earlier. And if you look further on, further on, I'm gonna ease back so you can see it right here in the back there. That's the brain 
of the entire system and we're gonna be talking about that a bit later on but this white thing that you're seeing here right now it's called polyfill damping this white stuff here that look like almost look like foam uh, you can just call it acoustic damping <laughs> polyfill so this is how it works it slows down air movement inside the chamber and it breaks up standing waves the internal echoes that makes voices sound hollow and boomy so what this actually does is that it tricks the driver into seeing a slightly larger space acoustically making the bass smoother and mids less colored and this is another trick by slowing down the air the driver actually thinks that they are working in a bigger box than they really are that means a smoother bass and a more natural sound overall. So I'm gonna go right ahead and remove this tweeter right here so you can see what's behind it or what it actually looks like from inside. It's six ohms and it's quite light, not as heavy obviously as the other drivers. So this is what really gives you the S and the T sounds in the voices. So the way this work is quite clever. Inside is a lightweight dome and a tiny coil of wire. So the amplifier send current through that coil and the magnet at the back, it pushes and pull thousands of times per second because the dome is so light, it can move literally or really fast without distortion. It is that speed that gives you the sparkle and the details. Without the tweeter, the voice would sound dull and muffled, but with it, words cut through and feels crisp. Now finally, let's get to the brain where the magic really happens. Now you're seeing this from a completely different angle. This is where the magic happens, or you can call it the brain of the entire unit. Just so you can see a very up close look of what's on this board. And I'm going to explain each one of these and exactly what they do to bring about the quality song that you hear from the Q Acoustic 2000C center speaker. So first of all, this big yellow one here on the left side that looks like one of those big oil drums, those cylinder shaped drums right here. This is a capacitor. This allow high frequency to pass through while blocking other tones. So it works as a high pass filter for the tweeter. That is what makes the S and the T sounds for the treble and give the dialogue its true sparkle. In other words, this is what ensures that the tweeter reproduces only clean and crisp highs. That's why whisper dialogues and subtle details in movies come through so clearly. It's because of this guy right here. This right here, the one that says 5W22RJ, that's a resistor. This white rectangular ceramic block, as you can see right here. So what this does, it acts like a volume trim for the tweeter. It balances loudness so it doesn't overpower the mid-range drivers. So without this, the tweeter would sound too bright and too harsh. So this is important because when it tames the tweeter's output, it keeps the voices natural instead of sounding like a snake and fatiguing. So it balances the treble against the other two speakers so the dialogue sounds realistic and not piercing. That's another trick. Now, if you also notice, there are two copper wires, very neatly coiled copper wires, one large one at the top and the smaller one right here. These are what are called inductors. So what these do is that they resist high frequencies and basically allow the lower frequencies to pass through. So it's like a low pass filter for the mid bass drivers. So it's like teamwork that prevents distortion and keep dialogue really solid. This blue cylinder right here is also another capacitor. This shapes the crossover curve, essentially fine tuning how the mid bass hands off songs to the tweeter. And this other yellow tiny one in the back here, yeah, this one right here where my finger's at. This is what keeps the frequency response more even, so the speaker songs balance across different amplifiers and different volumes. Let me just get a little bit closer so you can see it right there. So this is part of why Q acoustic speakers are known for their easy listening and sound. How does it all come together? The mid bass driver provides the foundation of dialogue. The tweeter gives edges of words and the crossover ensures the split is seamless. This is why when placed right, the Q acoustic 2000C locks dialogue dead center to the screen. And these are some of the secrets 
to the acoustics amazing song now if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe give it a like and tune in for more videos like this thanks for joining i'm on rap city and i'm out